Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. I feel like I have to say it like that. Mega Aquarium. Um, <laughs> uh, hopefully episode one de went down well. I'm pre-recording a couple of these so uh, and we've got two in one day. So I hope you enjoyed the first part of the series. I'm, again, I'm so looking forward to getting it. I've been watching the devlogs. The, um, the developers have been doing a really great devlog about how the game's coming on and some of the later stuff is so cool. So really can't wait to get further into it. Um, yes, if you go on to enjoy this video, please let me know by clicking on the like button. It really does help me out to let me know what you guys are into. And uh, if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, all you have to do is click subscribe. So, I picked up, as soon as I pressed stop recording, I picked up this one of these first sort of side quests, I guess. And it says that we unlock decorations by building a tank with a conch, a barrel, an anchor, and a shell. So, I feel that this first one here is probably the one that we're going to go for, alright? So, we're going to get into here, we're going to we're going to get rid of everything but the... Uh, no, actually, we're going to get rid of everything. And I'll tell you why, because we, we unlocked a new... Um, um, yeah, we unlocked it. Where's the... Where's the... Where's all the conches and stuff? Well, where are they then? Build a tank with conch, barrel, anchor, shell. Oh, I'd love to. Oh. That's weird. Do I have to research them, maybe? Uh, no. Do I need to get to level four? Oh, I was really looking forward to building some stuff there. Okay, well, in that case, we'll, re we'll replace that. Because that's a bit more suitable anyway, and we've got kelp as well, which is a, which is a much cooler um, plant for uh, for these big eels, I guess. But although they do have eel grass, that I think they quite like, so I'll have some eel grass as well. There we go. And he's still pretty happy. They're still pretty happy. Okay, so I mean, how do we do this then? Contang must contain at least one conch. Tank must contain at least one barrel, one anchor, and one shell. Well, well, where are they then? Huh. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. I assumed it had locked those four and I had to use them. Alright, well, never mind. Unless it, maybe we have to build a new tank. Or, or is it here? Let's have a look. Uh, decoration delivery. Right, okay, there we go. We had to wait for the new morning. Are they here now, are they? Uh. No, they're still not here. What's going on? It says decoration delivery. I mean, they would be there, wouldn't they? Huh. Huh. Um. Maybe we have. Maybe because we have to build a new tank. Let's delete one of these tanks. And see if we can put them in one of these tanks instead, alright? So let's delete you. And then build you again. Alright, and now. You can only carry one item. Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, we have them. Right, okay. Okay, that's weird. I wasn't expecting that at all, but let's put that in there then. Okay, cool, anchor. Um, have to keep coming to here to get them, do we? A nice little shell. Another little shell, which is pretty good. There we go. And the last one is a a barrel. We actually had one of these before. There we go. Uh, you have a talent. Wow, I'm impressed. When I look at that tank, I'm transported to another time. This morning, actually, when I found that pile of junk on the beach. Now, that's art. <laughs> There's plenty more where that came from. I'll supply you with as much as you need, subject to a small handling fee. I also have some paint available, which you can use to decorate your walls, floors, and tanks. You'll find it all in the decoration section of the build menu. Oh, yes. This is there. Oh, look, it's as if. It's as if the game heard my cries. So, decoration menu. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Um, so we've now got anchor barrels, conch and shells. We've also got blue paint. That's the standard shipwreck paint. So how does this work then? Let's see. 
because I think I feel like this this new section should be shipwreck. So if we click that, oh, and it's either floor and then and wall. Oh yes, I am all about this. Okay, so you are all now. This is going to be the shipwreck area. I was saying, um, if you haven't already, I'll link it in the description. There is a uh, I did a, a schematics podcast chat with a couple of the guys there, Adfo and Blind, about this game. They do a little series where they're like. Uh, where they offer constructive criticism for games like this, and mostly the issues were UI based. But one of the things I said was I'm really looking forward to unlocking this kind of stuff because um, most of the aquariums that I go to, at least in the UK, they're sea life aquariums, and they have really quite good theming. And one of the big things they do is have this. Uh, they always have like a shipwreck area, and I'm always a, a big fan of it. I always think it looks awesome. Um, so I'm really glad that, that we've now got that in the game. So I think this first area can be sh shipwreck. Okay, how do, can we just paint you up? Oh, yes. Oh, my God, I'm getting so excited by this, aren't I? Um, okay. There we go. All of this as well. Yeah, this is perfect. And all the way to there. And you are... Oh, that doorway, I suppose. You are now a shipwreck area. Okay. Awesome source. Okay, we're nearly on the crab, so we're going to leave them running. And we can close that tank. So now we're, we're up to earning 350. That's quite a big chunk away, that, to be honest with you. Um, well, let's have a look at the other decoration. Tropical beach paint. So I feel that probably we've got some mail here. It's telling us that stuff's grown up. That's fine. Um, I think probably this first area would make a nice tropical beach. Oh, yeah. this is It's this kind of stuff, really, for me at least, that really opens up games like this, you know? It really does sort of make the difference. We can't actually make that gate a different colour, but that's fine. Because now, quite not only does it look cool, and it, you know, I, I, you know, we're all about looking cool. It's actually going to help us at a glance, kind of figure out where the um, where the backstage areas are. We've got this really rubbish little backstage area here. Look, that will probably open up when we when we work our way down there, I guess. But for now, at least. This is going to be a beach area. We're going to leave those red blue bits there because we are actually going to be getting rid of those. Uh, that tank itself needs to be as well. So what's the floor like here? Oh, it's like a proper beach. That's awesome. Okay. Um, and maybe a, maybe a click and drag would be nice for this. Or a fill. I mean, I'm not too sure how fill would work, actually. He's a nice guy, but I'm not too sure how it would work. Let's get all of that in here. Down here, there we go. A new filter unlocked, wicked. Let's get the heater going as well then, I suppose. Well, this is the only thing we can work towards. We might as well do it. And then finally, this last little section here. All right, now do you know what? Actually, I'm thinking a little bit of a mix of these will probably work well, shipwreck paints. I'm thinking like a run of that there and maybe around here as well would work pretty good as a kind of, you know, here's the stand area. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? And then what about like a like more of a rough way into here rather than it being um, rather than it being perfect like this, like the sand. I mean, there wouldn't actually be sand, but like the sand has got over the wood. Oh yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Okay, cool. Right, so let's um, let's keep working on our fish. And like I say, now at a glance we can see where's backstage and where's sort of uh, guest facing. I think that's a really good way of uh, of using that, in my opinion. Krabby is nearly done. As soon as Krabby's done, he's going in. I mean, pretty much all over the place, really, wherever they can fit. Pick next research. Let's have a look here. Longhorn cowfish. What's your issue? You grow. You can't be with starfish. That shouldn't be a problem. You can't be with, can't be with species that eat green pellets. Okay. You can't be with lights, and you need cave cover. So reef squirrel fish. You're kind of like a, a, a dark, a dark dude. Okay, let's go for you then. Um, the hermit crab. Let's get some hermit crabs in. We he did say before that we should just be able to sort of drop these in. How, how much? Um, how much space does it take? Let's have a look. Two. So we could put one in there. Needs a bit more filtering, but that's fine. 
Where else we could put one? We could put one in there. Again, needs a bit more filtering. But I thought it said that it helps with the filtering. Let's put a few in there as well. They're only little things, aren't they? Look, they're quite cute. I like those. Um, right, let's have a look what they what we need for all of these. Then let's do power filter, uh, large filter. These are just they're, they're combi ones, aren't they? So maybe they need to upgrade to the uh, the better combis because that's just a small filter, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's get rid of you and you and you and you, and put the power combi in there instead. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And we'll do the same. Oh, these have all got power combis in, but this one here needs a bit more filtration. Just a tad. Oh, no, not quite enough. Look at that. How annoying. Um, oh, I guess it's that one then, isn't it? There we go. Who else needs more filtration? You. And, and you as well. Okay, well, how about that? Perfect. All right, that's our hermit crabs added in. We'll put some more of those over here as well. They were, they were more, the, the idea with those was definitely more sort of to add those into current uh, fishies, you know. So we're going to have to double up on our fish a little bit, unfortunately, because I, I don't really want to wait for this. But that's fine by me. Let's start with some Azor Demoiselle, just because I love saying the name. Two of you in there. Now, what's up with you? It's probably that you're not hot enough, isn't it? So that's fine. And a couple of king in there with you as well. And then a crab. All right. Two crabs. And then and then a sort of showpiece in this one. You can't be in there with. <laughs> Excuse me. You can't be in there with. Oh, the other angelfish. You can't. You're you're all right though. Yellow tang. Grouper. You can't be in there with crustaceans with a size 2 or less, which means, yeah, you can't go in there with you. Okay. Tell you what, then, flange, am flange amble fish. And that's a nice little uh, combo of fish, I think. In fact, let's just uh, let's bump it up a little. Right. Let's get some stuff in there, then. Don't believe we need caves in there? No, we don't need any caves, so that's fine. Let's instead... Get a um, a barrel <laughs> and a. Uh, I, I like the anchor. The anchor's a bit like sit the anchor at the front there. That'll look pretty cool, won't it? Uh, okay, and then kelp. I don't think we could do because it's a low tank. Um, but this uh, grass one we can. I do. I do like the eel grass. There we go. Eel grass to give him a bit of bit of a uh, hiding away area as well. And then maybe some rock and a. Uh, Sea lettuce, how's that? Right, and then on the back of this, I'm hoping just one of these will do, but it might not be. Let's have a look. Not quite enough filtration, that's fine. We'll just get a little basic filter on there with you. Okay, cool. So over here, let's have some more of our lovely eels in this one, I think. Uh, where are they? Zebra Murray eel. Um, two will do, I think. Because they do grow and you want to give them a bit of space. But we'll have a couple of uh, hermit crabs in there with you. Okay, and then we need four out. We might as well put a big one in. Because I think it looks a bit more interesting than the, uh, than, the than the rock one anyway. And then we'll have it we'll go for conches in this one. And then maybe a normal shell as well. Okay, and then some planting. And lettuce. All right, yeah, happy with that. And then let's get it filtered. I think that should be enough there. Perfect. And then finally, this last one, let's do some of the um, coral grouper. What can't you go with? You Can you go with yourself? You, you're thirsty. Dislike conspiracy foods. Cannot be housed with coral grouper. No, so you have to go on your own. All right, so what are you? We haven't had many of these. Three of them, and a tang. Yeah, that's a nice little little combo there. 
All right, good. Um, hoping that can go there and not cause an issue. Looks like it can. That's good. And then we'll get some nice stuff in the front of it. Don't need a house, but let's get some more cool looking uh, stuff. So let's get a barrel. Is it two barrels? Two barrels and an anchor in this one. Anchor? Who's an anchor? There we go. One of those there. And a couple of... I, I really like the eelgrass. I don't know why. I, I, I just like the, the, the height of it, I suppose, even though it's in quite a low tank. Uh, later on, all these tanks can be higher up as well, you know, like deeper, I guess. And we can we can use all the things like kelps and, and all sorts in them. So, yeah, looking forward to, uh, to seeing all that. All right. That seems pretty good. Now, I wonder then, can we put this stuff outside of tanks just to kind of add a bit of flavor yeah looks like we can be nice if we can. Oh, i'd love to be able to get those a little bit closer to each other but i understand that um you know these things sometimes have a you know limitations and an, maybe an anchor as well that would look quite cool on the floor hmm no maybe it wouldn't it looks like a choking hazard a, a chipping hazard to me uh, all right we'll leave it like that so now this area is pretty much full I'm going to hire a new member of staff that's got good feeding. I mean, feeding and fixing are pretty good. Feeding and fixing, yeah, there we go. You can be hired. And I think, hopefully, that'll be enough. A lot of. Uh, oh, they. D Sorry, I put a grouper in there. They Groupers do need. Um, groupers do need a, a place to kip, don't they? Let's go in here. Let's just put a driftwood one in. There we go. Okay, so game's playing now. Let's uh, let's open up this area for the lovely folks. Both this way and that way. And now everything needs feeding. People should start making their way around the two zones that we've got. Let's put fast forward on and see how they get on. Come on, get some people in the place now. That's what that's the main thing is. We need people actually in the building. People are coming in, they're seeing the fish. They're looking good. The staff are doing a pretty super job of feeding everyone. And we've got a fixer in there as well. Fixing up stuff. Pretty much everything's fed. Here we go. And people are heading around to the new area. So yeah, there we go. Look, we're over 300. Oh, we've got a male. Let's have a look. Uh, as a um, uh, hermit crab... Uh, oh, has died? Eaten by a... Oh! Oh. Tank 18. Where, what have I not thought about? Was it that one? Right, we need to move you guys. Sorry. Uh, move. I didn't know you at crustaceans. Let's put you in there. Okay, so you're just eels in that one. All right. In fact, let's have a third eel. Then seeing as this is all we can put in there is eels. All right. And then let's just check. Oh, didn't mean to do that at all. Sell you. Let's just check that nothing in here eats eels, eats crabs. You don't, nothing there as an issue. Okay, you, Grupa, what do you eat? Can't be put in with crustaceans. Oh, no, okay. Sorry, crustaceans, you gotta go. Oh, no! Ah, wrong one. Um grouper in there poor little crabbies sorry little crabbies but with uh, luckily there's enough good stuff in there to start bumping this number up look at that though should we have a little look uh, in first person view there is a bit of a funky first person view but it does exist there we go so we've got our beach zone here we go some signage would be nice. So hopefully we unlock some signage later on. Like these walls in in aquariums usually have lots of sort of you know life cycle information and where they're found and stuff. A few clipping issues where the paint mixes, but other than that, we're okay. I assume we've hit our target because everyone's froze. So let's have a look, shall we? New heaters are unlocked. No, okay, good. Um, that's all the science on this level. All right, let's have a look over here. Come down here. Yes, yeah, so along here. Oh, welcome to this shipwreck area or whatever. I don't know. 
Fishes look good. I can't. Yeah, deep deep tanks will definitely be better because I don't like the fact that they can see the top of the water. Normally, these things are pretty fully enclosed, you know, unless they are. Oh, excuse me. Unless they're a bit more like the um, the one over here. That's you know these things. These are, these are okay. Although the water's pretty high in these ones, like that would that would you'd splish and splash a lot. Unless it's glass topped, it may well be glass topped. Actually, thinking about it, uh, the reef squirrel fish is unlocked. Okay, let's just do another one then. We need to get some of that reef squirrel fish in, I think. So let's have a look at some eaten by grouper. What is going on? Tank fifteen. Tank ten. We start naming the tanks probably to help us out here. Tank 19. Tank 14. Tank 11. Tank 15. Right, what's going on? Why is this grouper eating fish? Cannot be housed with coral grouper. Fine. Eats 33% more food and creates 33% more waste. That's fine. Cannot May eat or damage fish with size 3 or less. Ah. Which is you. Right. Right, you're, you're, you're out of here, mate. Um, although, actually, we've got... Yeah, we've got a lot of these out elsewhere. Should we just have you as a, as a group of fish, right? Okay. See, this is easy. Micromanaging the fishies. What, what about that new one we've just opened? Let's have a look. Who were you? This, it'd be nice if this if there was... A, it was you, wasn't it? The black bar sold... Oh, no, reef squirrel fish it was. So you're size four. Um, needs at least four of them. Okay, so you should be able to go in here. The tank is full. Ugh. Right. Hold on then. Let's move the grouper to the... Mm, the tank's full there as well. Where's there a space for a grouper? Just for a minute. Right. Space for a grouper in there for a second. Let me just figure this out. Uh, and now let's add... Another one of you in there. Four of you. Well, five of you then. You need a. You need. Oh, your shoulder. Your. Your. You need a. You need a cave. Okay. So let's get rid of you. And put the bigger one in. No, nope, we can't because of the rubble. That's fine. We can get rid of the rubble. Lock you over. Hang. Get you in. It looks the part of that one, doesn't it? Oh. It can't because the well actually let's put it at the front here then, right? No, 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 no. Uh, decoration. Yes, good. Okay. Right. So you need different food, but otherwise you're happy. Are we all right in here now? Apart from needing more caves and stuff. Let's see. No, because you eat you eat crustaceans, don't you? you the group has just got to go. Sorry, groups. It's no can do on the group front. Hopefully, though, this new fish over here. We have groupers around, don't we? Let's have a look. You could, if you hover over stuff here, look, we've got eight of those, eight of those, four, six of those, seven of those, three of them, five of them, two of them, three of them, five of them, six of them, and eight of them. Yeah, we've got loads of each fish. So really, as they unlock, we'll figure out where they can squeeze in. I don't really want to keep expanding the place because I feel like, like staffing-wise, we're at a decent spot at the moment. But I do realise that we are not quite hitting, not quite hitting our uh, our reward. Maybe rather than a whole new area, we could just expand this one a little and have a, a larger, you know, open tank like this as as like the sort of centre point of the area, you know. That could that could work pretty well, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh God! Did you see that? Did you see that? So it's very we're we're really close. I'm really close. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna need something. Let's have a look. Grown has grown has grown. That's good. One thing I do like is that they don't just die from old age. I, I'm really not a fan of animals dying from old age in these kind of games because. I know it's like realistic, but it just ain't that fun. <laughs> um, all right, let's use that. Yep, yeah. and let's make it look shipwrecky. Eh? Right, 
All right, and let's get rid of our, get rid of those for a minute. Okay, we're getting prestige off them just from wandering around. That's pretty cool. What was that one? Eastern by um, an e oh what? New animals on that. Nice. Let's work on that. You've just unlocked your first armored animal. Armored animals count as twice the size when determining whether they can be eaten by a predator. This makes them excellent tank mates for your fish and crustacean eating animals. Okay. So I'm assuming that's in here. These eels. It has missed its last feeding. Warning, may eat or damage crustaceans. We said, right. You gone? Um. <clears throat> Where's that new one? Longhorn cowfish. No, I wanted to read you a little bit about you. Please. So, five prestige. Nice, nice. Um, four to nine, so you grow. Yeah. Tropical, that's fine. 70, that's fine. Animals eat cockles. We need new food. That's fine. Cannot be housed as a bully. We don't have bullies. May eat or damage. Uh, okay, so we can put you in here. Yeah, you you're you're okay in there. All right, good. Uh, but you need cockles, so let's make sure we've got some cockles. And also, let's put you here, so you're relatively close. Um, they didn't get fed yesterday, so I say we need another member of staff who's pretty spot on at feeding. Yeah, higher. Come on down. Okay, <clears throat> let's carry on over here. Uh, lagoon tank. I'm all about the lagoon tank. Um, <clears throat> we can go there, or we could actually. I think what might be better is moving you. So you only got three. Yeah, that's loads better. Okay, cool. And let's do a nice uh, <clears throat> pirate shippy maroon uh, lagoon tank. So a few of these bad boys, just because we can use them here and not anywhere else. So. Good, and then I love the anchor. Yes. Um, I don't know whether we're going to need an overhang in those at the moment. Let's just go for uh, barrels instead. So let's have a think about what we haven't really got much of. These, do they, when you eat, you won't eat crabs. So let's get one, two, Three of you, just because you're our new fish. All right. And then we'll put so one, two of you in there as well. And then I feel like we should probably just fill it out with... Let me just check. You can't go in there with clams. Can't go in there with other angel fish. You need some plants. Yeah, so, you, so one of you should be fine in there then as well. No, you... Starfish. Water temperature. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we can fix that. So, we're going to have to move these because this is going to have to be our pump setup for them. Okay, so let's move all the food to here. Like that. Make it sensible. That's good. Okay, so pump to there. Good. We'll stick a power combi on you. Needs, uh, oh, a little bit of both actually. So we got a combi mini. Will that do it? Yeah, a combi mini does it. Perfect. Um, and apart from food, you're pretty good. What do you need? You need a bit more filter. Is that because you're broken? No, no, you're looking all right. Okay, so basic filter on you everywhere else looking all right oh you need a bit more filtering as well my words okay well in that case basic filter can go and we'll put the power oh we had a power filter on you um large filter then i guess yeah sounds like a bit messy backstage now isn't it what can you do though eh those fishes need filtering oh look at it all there we go that new tank did it for us awesome You've accomplished a lot here at Northwoods. When I arrived, it was dilapidated. You restocked it, reinvested your profits, and transformed it into an impressive aquarium that you see before you. 
But another job offer has come in, this time for a private collector in Elmshorn looking for an architect to design their dream aquarium. You can continue to build here at Northwoods as long as you want. This message will stay in your message log, accessible via the button in the bottom left until you are ready. When you're ready for a new challenge, let me know. We will start that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, give me a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, don't forget to click subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop those down in the comments. Fancy chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekers and community, you can do so over on our Geekers and Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.